My coworker is obsessed with taking credit for my work, so I started giving her exactly what she wanted. There's this coworker in my office, let's call her Megan, who's built her whole career on claiming credit for other people's work. She's the type who, if you so much as come up with a good idea in a team meeting, will start repeating it loudly and then take it to the boss as her concept. For months, she's been getting away with this, and since I'm not exactly confrontational, I figured I'd just keep my head down and let it go. But it was getting to be too much. Megan had gone from claiming ideas to outright presenting my actual work as her own. I'd create presentations, reports, and proposals, and somehow she'd end up presenting them to management with barely a word of acknowledgement. My frustration reached a peak after our last project. I'd spent days on an analysis report, only to have her walk confidently into the boardroom and summarize it, taking full credit. And the worst part? Management actually believed her. So, I decided to take a different approach. If she wanted to borrow my work, I'd make sure it was work worth borrowing. Here's what I did. I created an elaborate, jargon-filled, 25-slide presentation about a fake process I called Optimal Revenue Integration Strategy, or ORIS for short. It looked impressive, sounded professional, and was absolutely meaningless, just buzzwords strung together. I intentionally left the presentation open on my desktop during lunch, fully expecting her to see it. Sure enough, Megan noticed, took it, and set up a meeting with our boss to showcase her latest insights. When the meeting happened, I sat quietly in the back, watching as she went through slide after slide, using words like synergize and monetize like her career depended on it. The boss's face went from interested to confused and then to skeptical. Finally, he asked, can you explain what optimal revenue integration strategy means in practice? Megan's face went tense as she tried to make sense of it, but it was nonsense. She couldn't explain it because it wasn't real. The boss turned to me, knowing I'd been working on the project too, and I just shrugged, saying I had no idea what she was trying to convey. Megan was put on the spot. The meeting ended shortly after, and she hasn't tried to use my work since. I'm now known as the guy who actually understands the strategy in the office, and people have been giving her some skeptical looks ever since.